What is Toho? This is one of the most common questions you'll get regarding the series right behind Is Toho an Anime? Simple as the question is, it's hard to properly answer it in a satisfying way. Too little information won't get the point across, and too much information will be difficult to follow. For that reason, I've put together an answer that covers the aspects I believe to be the most important, starting with where it began. Toho Project, or better known simply as Toho, is a series of bullet hell shoot 'em ups, or shmups, created by one man known as Zun. Designed for PC-98 hardware, Toho would make its first release at 1997's Summer Comic Cat on August 15th, where Zun brought with him two games. Toho 1, highly responsive to prayers, which played similarly to breakout types of games, and Toho 2, Story of Eastern Wonderland, which began the shoot 'em up format that future titles would follow. It's worth noting that while 1997 is when Toho 1 released, it actually began development in 1995, which explains why some games credits state Project Shrine Maiden since 1995. Zun would continue to release a new entry in the series every following comic hit up to December 30th, 1998, where the fifth installment in the series, Mystic Square, would mark the final entry in the PC-98 series of games. After a four-year hiatus following the release of Mystic Square, Zun would return as the one-man Dojin Circle, Team Shanghai Alice, where Toho would get its big Windows-era revival at 2002's Summer Comic Cat on August 11th with Toho Komakyo, or better known in the West, Embodiment of Scarlet Devil. Zun's desire was to return to Toho with a clean slate, so as such, a new canon would be established and begin with this release. The reason I'm beginning with this history lesson on the PC-98 era is due to that clean slate comment. Events from the first five games are self-contained, and not referenced in the story created for the Windows era. Embodiment of Scarlet Devil can be considered the first in the series, as you could start from this point without knowing anything about the entries before it. Despite all that, PC-98 did play a part in shaping Toho into what it is today, so I felt it wouldn't be fair to write it all off as something you don't need to know anything about. Zun has been asked if the PC-98 era is canon compared to the Windows series, to which he answered, It's the same world. There are a few contradictions in the story when putting the PC-98 and Windows games side by side, but I would take reference from the latest games to consider what is canon. In other words, it's canon until it conflicts with the Windows games. With all that said, let's finally get to the actual games themselves. To summarize this new era of Toho, protagonist Hakure Remu, or Kirisami Marisa, set out across the yokai paradise known as Gensokyo, resolving incidents by beating up those responsible for causing them, or just those unfortunate enough to get in the way. All fights are conducted under the spell card rules, which just means all conflicts are resolved by duels using Danmaku, a term meaning barrage of bullets, and spell cards. It's easier to remember spell cards as a character's special attacks. As for gameplay, pick your character, usually between Reimu and Marissa, and your preferred difficulty, ranging from easy to lunatic. You start out with some lives and bombs, bombs being your character's spell card. Bombs vary in effect based on your character choice, but the majority of them clear the screen and deal damage in the process. There are many ways to utilize bombs, but if you're new to the game, just think of them as a way to get out of trouble. Progress to the levels, grab P blocks to get stronger, and point items for score, while trying to beat the game on a single continue. Toho is a shmup that puts a bigger emphasis on the characters and bullet patterns to go with them, rather than its raw difficulty, giving each character attacks to match their personalities to make a more memorable experience per stage, to be more than just the obligatory end of stage boss. Most games follow the format of six stages, then an extra stage, meaning plenty of new characters and patterns with each entry in the series. Although Toho is regarded as an easier game in the shmup genre, if you don't have any experience with them, then you'll definitely find it challenging. You can't play the extra stage or even see the good ending unless you finish the game on normal or higher without using a continue. So if you're set on doing that, then prepare to replay until your eyes bleed. Fortunately, the music in these games are incredible and make it a lot more fun to sit down and grind them out. Another large aspect of Toho is that soundtrack. I'm not an expert on music, so all I can say here is that Zun does a very good job matching his stage environments and boss personalities with fitting themes. You can read a bit into his process of making each theme in the game's music galleries as well. Of course, you have to reach them in the game to do that, so good luck. Zun is known for his love of the trumpet and has created some incredibly popular tracks that hold up to this day. The most notable example would probably be You and Owen Was Her, which you may have heard before not knowing it was from Toho thanks to a uh, certain clown. I don't think it's a stretch to say a lot of people were introduced to Toho as a whole through hearing some of the in-game music, or the many, many, many remixes produced by the fans. Speaking of fans, Zun's stance on fan creations is some of the most lenient of any creator I've ever seen, allowing many creative freedoms so long as you follow the few rules he has set. If you're curious as to what those are, I left a link in the description to them. 
As of this recording, Zun has self-published 22 Toho games, and in collaboration with Dojin Circle Twilight Frontier, 6 additional fighting games, totaling 28 entries in the main series. Zun has also authored various print works that expand on the story and characters outside the events the games cover, as well as 10 albums known as Zun's Music Collection, which feature original tracks and mixes of themes from the games, and an original story accompanying them. Now a series that spans so many games with a ton of interesting characters and incredible music, with the creators okay to make what you'd like, is a huge factor in why Toho has been able to grow into the franchise it is today. With tons of Dojin Circles forming to make their own print works, music, and of course, fan games. I wanted to open with this interview to give an idea as to what Toho is and who created it. When Toho originally released and concluded for PC-98, and when its revival for Windows began. Where Toho stands today with its extensive library of games, literature, and music. Why Toho stands out as much as it does compared to other series in the same genre. And how so many fan projects can exist without the constant fear of being taken down. That last point is the main reason I made this video. I really like Toho, but I'm not very good at shoot 'em ups so I learned a lot from watching others play through them. I wanted to play Toho games myself, so when I found fan games, I was pretty excited. But there were just so many of them with little information available, especially with the language barrier. A lot of the first ones I found in English are fairly old, so most of the footage you'll find of them are equally as ancient. Toho fan games are still being made to this day, but they don't get as much attention as I believe them to deserve. This is why I made this channel, where I intend to showcase the many different fan games, both old and new, for those who got curious like me and tried to find some videos of them to learn more. I'll try to explain things in a way that's understandable for a newcomer, but I do hope this video helps anyone who watched it before anything else, especially on the terminology that's going to be used a lot. I hope I can inspire you to check Toho out more yourself and that you look forward to what's to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you during the next incident.